Let's do this. It is recording. Mm. Hello. Hello. What is what is happening here? Something something scribe and the doctor. So this is we are beginning our first epic April a April that is dedicated to all the short story editing <laughs> work session editing. Also my hair is a mess. You sound so excited about the whole ordeal. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm oozing enthusiasm here. <laughs> I inspire crowds and move mountains and lead nations. <laughs> Wait, let me let me fab up. There. there we go. Now at least fabulous. there's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Also, when you spend half of your day with, the, or like most of the day with hair, hair pulled up, it's kind of. At some point, it's kind of hard on the scalp. Right. So. Scribe and the doctor. Uh, Nox, please provide readers a summary of what's happening and and but there's there's a there this is a trick task okay. so try to to provide a summary of the story not as a string of events and this happened and this happens and this happens and this happens but instead try to you know <laughs> give, give a a sort of glancing glancing summary of the story in terms of so what is what is what is actually happening what's what is the meaning of this why why are we here why are we even telling this story <laughs> easy Um, if you say that, but I feel as soon as I open my mouth, it's all going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> you now on video! Waiting, waiting gleefully for me to balls <laughs> it up. <laughs> because I could, I could do it. Because I have a very clear un clear understanding for me. I have a very clear head cannon. What's going on here? But uh, I am starting to get the feeling that if I if I keep doing these summaries, then you will never never learn the the <laughs> things that I want you to Summer. learn. Yeah. Uh, my brain automatically just wants to spell it out like a list, like. Yep. X person arrives and does X thing. No, that's not what we're looking for. We're so this will be. This is the advanced shit now. We have we have done the laundry list a thousand times. Yep. We know the we know the string of events, but now you need to summarize what the story is actually about. We've come to a facility. Uh, oh no, <laughs> this, I feel really <laughs> awkward doing this now. Um, viewers, this is important, right, because recently I tried to bridge the gap, and the way I bridged the gap uh, was not uh, the way that we're trying to do it. And um, by, by bridging the gap, we mean the summary or, or outline for the big story arc that ties all the other stories together and the first time I did it I wrote it out like a list like character does this and then this happens and then the other character does this blah 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 and it was really like list 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 and then I went back and tried to do it like um, maybe the blurbs you'd find on the back of the book maybe but with a bit more detail and that didn't really come off either 
Um, so, this is something I need to learn, um, but perhaps maybe not on video because I'm feeling oh. really awkward and confused and scared now. <laughs> this is your comfort zone. It is crumbling one character at the time. Uh, then, but uh, then we have nothing to work on because we have all the lists here. If we continue with the lists, then we will not we are not actually getting to the you know the point of the story I just I, every time I think oh I've got the confidence to maybe make a suggestion <laughs> my brain's like hey, you're just gonna do a list why are you just doing a list like, scribe arrives and code it no that's just a list uh, here's an idea uh, try to uh, try to um, uh, try to tease out the point of what of it all, not in a chronological order, but in order of importance. So you can you can start from the conclusion, or not the conclusion, but you can start from the culmination of the story where it where will will it all lead up to it all leads up to scribe finding out some information and <coughs> using that information to then go on and do other things yeah but that's that's not what's important about this story is it You want me to do it? Uh, he, he, something, something, doctor, right? <laughs> that's uh -huh. that, that's the key thing. Ah! My brain, my brain can't word it, and, and for this I apologize. But you, you have actually, so you have identified one of the key elements in this story. So, whatever the characters are doing. We are running into, uh, we are running into a synthetic personality or an AI who is called the Doctor, and uh, putting this story side by side with another story, we will uh, we will learn of c certain similar things going on. So that the reader can uh, can sort of deduce that oh wait a minute the thing that happened to this character and the thing that's happening here these things are related so uh, we will uh, in the course of this story we will encounter uh, a a synthetic personality called the Doctor, who is linked to one of the main, 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 main characters in the Chaos Nova quote-unquote big story, uh, called uh, Dr. Servodius, <laughs> or Servo, uh, who for a big part of the story, the big story, will act as the antagonist for for the ragtag uh, team of lovable heroes. However, once we get to the uh, to the point in the big story uh, where the deja vu storyline kicks in, and this is this is the storyline that uh, that we have been uh, sorting out in the forum leakage project. In there, we find another iteration or another version of Servo, who is actually um, who has who has a, a goal that is not a harmful goal. <laughs> so there is on on one hand 
there is this layer of all these characters who are related, some of whom do harm, others of whom do not do harm, but they all lead lead back to the same guy. So this is this is this is one node of all that. So if you if you imagine a huge tangle of contradicting storylines and contradicting information and contradicting interactions that all somehow link uh, one character and his his doings and his interactions and his versions then this is one node in that uh, in that tangle then the facility that uh, this story takes place in we will f we will encounter a character who displays very similar markings or very similar um, stuff done to him as we find done to another big story key character Corey Henderson and in fact uh, we we are speculating that uh, our homeboy Corey has probably escaped from this very lab at some moment. We will also learn. So, so this is uh, if if we if we imagine a uh, again a huge tangle of uh, bits of information about Corey Henderson and his doings and his origins, then again there is one node that connects him uh, with this place. Then the two characters that are the viewpoint characters in the, in this story, through their interaction, we find out that something happened in this facility, some sort of disruption that allowed a bunch of uh, people to escape from their containment, from their experimentations, and the timing and everything together will link us to the idea that, oh, wait a minute, the timing is such that our boy Corey Henderson must have, must have escaped at the same time. So now we also have a, an event that very conveniently intervened with the, uh, with the operations of this facility and allowed one of our main characters, like main, main one, of, one of our main 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 characters, to get loose and get his story arc start, started. And in the meantime, we still have the doctor character who is somehow tied to the other main 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 character, but we don't yet yet know how. And we and it would also seem that the uh, doctor AI here and the main 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 character servo out there have contradicting uh, goals so the AI doctor tries to keep the facility running, tries to keep these people contained, tries to keep the experimentation on them going on to what end we still do not know yet uh, at the same time the uh, other doctor or the servo out there who is undoubtedly linked to this doctor uh, his goals since we since we know from the future that he will try to aid and recruit Corey Henderson in in fact many Corey Hendersons from many many realities <laughs> we we already know that we will find out that his goals even though uh, undoubtedly linked to the doctors are also uh, adversarial to, to that. So this raises the question: So what's up with all the what? What's up with that with that the disruption? Was it was it a deliberate thing? Why was there an uh, EMP blast that uh, that wiped out the uh, uh, the controls? And in all this, we have the protagonist of the current story a data jockey or scribe who is just a random schmuck who is who gets uh, an assignment to come in this 
facility and gather some information. Uh, again, the information that will lead him to uh, to find out something about other characters that will become important later. <laughs> <coughs> you did all that, and we, and it was beautiful to listen to, by the way, very succinct. <laughs> but there were no. Okay, there were the. When it comes to this story, you weren't focusing on the details, details, like not the magnifying scope details that I was thinking of talking about. You were talking about more like how this story affects other things and how it leads on to other things and bits and pieces. So I need to try and get more into that when I do summaries. Yeah, but that's that's the thing, the detail details we can work out on the go. If if mm. we understand the bigger connections, the little details will just... It, it sort of writes itself, in a sense. Yeah. Because half of the... half of the line level shit and half of the scenery level shit that's, that's come in, in here has just sort of filled itself in when the big questions are, have been answered, like uh, during uh, during the work on this text, uh, I think I've just I th there there are like at least dozen little things that I have just pulled out of my ass during <laughs> the writing process that I I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to outline or or think through or anything. They just they were spawned in the moment and like oh okay. Obviously, the scribe has a uh, has uh, little camera drones that he dispatches to go and and scout for him. Or obviously, uh, this and this door or the the access levels here are different than the access level levels there and and obviously uh, this happens and this happens and this happens so none of none of the little things have required the deep thought because uh, so when the big stuff the big connections and the you know the why and the and the how and and the uh, and the you know the the, the the nodal part when <laughs> when 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 that is sort of i wouldn't say it doesn't have to be clear but when that is sort of in the process of uh, of oh that's where we're going with this then the little shit is just coming on its own mm -hmm. meanwhile uh, the more uh, uh, the more uh, effort that goes into figuring out the little shit while neglecting the big shit, uh, then in the end we we might do a whole lot of work, but in the end the little shit uh, ends up counting for nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what those summaries feel like after reading them back and reviewing them, like the bridge mm -hmm. of the gap ones. It feels like I've done a lot of work and haven't got much for it, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it so it's like, yeah, 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 exactly. That's so that's <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's what's making me so frustrated with the with such summaries is that there are a whole lot of details provided, but none of the. But what does it actually mean? <laughs> or what is it leading up to? Why why are we here? <laughs> why are we why are we even? Uh, why is everybody yelling? <laughs> And uh, and that that's that's why I'm I'm also very adamant of taking time to sort uh, this sort of stuff out because right now when I'm uh, when I'm trying to read the material I'm immediately uh, immediately bump into a huge wall of details ninety percent of which are redundant anyway so. We, we we are not going to leave most of these in anyway, but uh, there is a whole lot of uh, described details, outlined details, 
and and I started scrolling and and then here is oh scene two we are we are we aren't even we we haven't even gotten past scene one yet and we're already like one and a half pages in <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh right now if we would st if we would try to start uh, working uh with the text immediately i wouldn't even know where to start i'm like ah words ah! <laughs> <laughs> but now that i'm scrolling down i can see that actually scene 2 is mostly uh, this seems like mostly finalized text already. Did we we, did we uh, jump one and go straight? Yeah, I think I think we decided to leave uh, uh, scene one for for later uh, after we have uh, we have figured the rest out. Okay, and scene three uh, contains some of the sort of script for the text, which is like not an outline, but more like very dirty version of this. This so the marking, marking the beats and marking the lines, even if the text isn't quite there yet. <laughs> Scene four also seems quite uh, quite fought through, and scene five. <laughs> okay, so at at five and six and so on, things are getting fuzzy again. But yeah, basically, we are learning about a a facility that holds some secrets that are obviously connected to one of our uh, one of our uh, main 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 characters, and we are also learning of secrets that are somehow. No, we don't know yet how somehow linked to another uh, key character and we are also learning that obviously there is some th there is something bigger going on that we don't know about so a a simple data retrieval mission turns into uh discovering a rabbit hole Right, but I think uh, if we're gonna dig deeper into this, it's better to maybe ditch the recording. <laughs> so we can get down and dirty with it. Uh huh. Some of the things are never meant to be seen. <laughs> so. What's the public consumption? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it is it, it is it is all well and good to uh, to have footage of some outlining and some text refining, but some of the shit that goes in between them, y you don't want to know. <laughs> 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 so uh, I will end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank stay you. stay tuned for the short story works of April, and I will see you. We will see you in the next one. Bye.